Just clean up the mess. Don't be lazy. Today, we're not in the kitchen. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Now today, we're actually here upstairs in my bedroom because we are looking at some weird cooking life hacks. You might have seen these online, but I thought I'd have a look at them and see what I think of them um, and what you think of them. Post what you think in the comments below and let's get started. This first one is put ice cream in a bag before putting it in the freezer. And I'm just quite confused. I think this is an American thing. This is on <laughs> lifehack.org, by the way. Ice cream can get rock hard in the freezer, not really, no. Not in this country. I don't think so. And takes ages to thaw out. Well, yeah, sometimes, yeah. I think that one's an American one. Next life hack. So freeze a banana to use as a base for healthy ice cream. I've never made ice cream, but I really want to do it. So that's something you might see in the future on this channel. Be subscribed because you might see it in the future. So talking of that, freeze a banana to use as, as a base for a healthy ice cream. So I guess that's like a flavoring. It's quite a good idea. I love to make banana ice cream. That's a good idea, but it's not really a life hack. I don't think. Mix pancake batter in a plastic bag. I wouldn't mix it. I mean, that's that looks like a piping bag to me, but it says mix it in a plastic bag. Well, you don't mix it in a bag. I'd say mix it in a bowl, then put it into a piping bag, and then it doesn't have to be poured. But even then, it's just a bit pointless, really, because you'll still have mess to clean up. Just clean up the mess. Don't be lazy. Next one. Cut softer food using dental floss. Yeah, it's a good idea, but that's never going to work. If you're cutting it of course softer foods like it says in this picture what you can do is you can just take a normal knife and if you just keep cutting it forwards and backwards quickly that will be so much quicker than a dental floss cook up enough food for several days on sunday and store it in the fridge i'd do this on a saturday evening or something it's clever i don't like the look of that food there it's a good idea maybe do it like for one half of the week and then on wednesday you do the next half of the week but sunday it's just like you want to chill out on sunday that's a decent life hack. Ah, this picture. Um, before I say anything about like what it actually is, when they take these pictures, I've seen this online in a video, they use bits of cardboard on American pancakes. They put them underneath so it looks like it's a higher tower. Use protein powder, almond milk, oat flour, and frozen fruit for healthy snacks. Protein powder I've never had. Um, protein powder is really good because it um, restores your muscles really well. And if you want to work out every day, if you want to work out every day, it stops your muscles from getting too tired and ripping. Almond milk, that's great for vegan stuff. Oat flour, great again for a vegan thing. Frozen fruit, again, fruit is my favourite friend. The funny thing is these are chocolate pancakes with chocolate chips on the plate. Not entirely sure there, lifehack.org. Do you want to change your life? No! Freeze a fresh herb mixture in olive oil to add to your meals. I think that's a good idea. That picture, of course, shows it in ice cubes. I love that idea. Maybe to go with pasta, tomato pasta, not really green pesto pasta. Pesto pasta, that's my favorite dish, by the way. Anyway, to wrap up the video, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, I might do a part two of this video. Please let me know if you want to see that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Now, the end screen. Hmm. <laughs>